Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross hanging out. That yeah. intro. <laughs> that intro, man. Hey, it's your boy J. Ross, man. J. Ross on the bill, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we, we here every day in Lou, baby. No, man. Hey, uh, yeah, he does. Drop it down. Hey, baby, what's up? No, what's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross hanging out with my dude, Sean Morton, y'all. Y'all know him, man. I mean, what can you say about a, ph a phenomenal musician like Sean and a more better person, man, in spirit, man? But first of all, I just want to shout Sean out, man, because no matter who he come to the loo with, he always hook his boy up, take care of me, except for the last time with the puppy. He left me outside with Matthew Recchia, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I left by the sales, by the soundboard. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Sean, but man, you know, you've been gigging, man. You play with all over the world, man. Do this, do it ever get old, man? Of course. Yeah. I mean, you know, especially now I have a newborn kid, so, you know. But, you know, I mean, it gets old, but this is what I'm born to do, so I'm built to do, so. Do wait a minute, now, what's that new kid name? Because I didn't know nothing about it. Yeah, man, I have an eight month old now. His name is Harlem. Harlem Eugene. Straight up? Yeah. You gonna have him on them boards, or you gonna let him go with his own vocation? I'm letting him decide what he want to do, but there's a Fender Rose in his room. <laughs> hey, there's a nice 88 key Fender Rose in his room. Ain't that something? Now you've been uh, uh, dealing with Kurt, uh, touring with him for 20 years, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, like, what is that, man? Like, like for stability for for a musician? Uh, well, I mean, I, I never really looked at it as a touring musician. It's, it's not a very stable life. But you know, but yeah. Kurt, me and Kirk have a we have a great working relationship, great friendship. Yeah. You know, and I mean, you know, it's kinda inevitable. I produce the records, so I'm probably gonna end up doing the tour. So Yeah. You know, so it's, it's more it's more of that. But Kirk is you know, Kirk is like family, so Yeah. So but like no we got uh we got Miss Monica Bacon, y'all. She uh she on the phone doing what she do. But <laughs> yeah, Monica's always Monica's <laughs> always working. Yeah, but uh but like Sean, like in producing and, and doing production and all that, man. I think Jay like Monica though, so he probably gonna fly, flash over to a couple of times. No, nah, bro. I think I think he thinks she's cute. No, nah, bro. Oh, okay. she got that pistol on her side too. Definitely has a pistol on her side. <laughs> Monica, but, gangster. but like, like, like when you hear your the things that you've created and produced, man. What goes through your spirit, man? You know, is it a good feeling, or if it's played bad, do you look around and say, like, you lousy? Nah, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's a good feeling. I don't know if they put out bad products, so, you know, yeah. I don't know anybody that does. Oh, look who walked in. Oh, yeah. yeah big yeah. boy Matt, Miss yeah, Cynthia, and yeah, Butch. Yeah. What's up, Jay Ross? What's up, big dog? Oh, yeah. Tell me. Hey, Miss Cynthia. Hey, Lewis. What's up, Butch? <laughs> Got my boy Butch Ramsey in. Seven Stream Bass fan. They crashing my interview. <laughs> I was like, dog. What's up, bro? Boy, I love you, boy. Uh uh. Well, what you what you wearing, boy? You smell good? What you got, like dog sweat on or something? No, nah, this is some of that old EBT gel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? Let me finish. Let me finish up, Sean, man. I'm gonna get you, but you get through. Oh no, 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 it's a family. It's a family affair. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but like in your own band, mm -hmm. you know, your go-go band, especially being when y'all came through and played St. Louis, man. Mm -hmm. Is it a different feeling that you get from when you playing in a an ensemble such as this, such as Kirk? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, I mean, a lot of these songs I, I was there from the beginning, so yeah. You know, it's cool to see, you know, when you produce a song when you see it from the beginning, when you see the crowd's reception, you know, how they dig it. You yeah. Know, you know, just from the first couple of notes and they just like, you know, yeah. that's great. You know. So it, it, with your own creation, like being your baby, you, uh, what if it's not well received, man? How do you, or ha, well, has it ever not been well received is what I should have asked. Yeah, I mean, I've had, had plenty of things that have been not well received, but, but. I don't, I don't, really, I don't really know if I do it for the reception. Yeah. You know, I, I just kind of do it for the sake of having this God given gift, and I have to do what I'm supposed to do. So, yeah. You know, if, if people like it, it's, I, I'm like it's somebody for everybody. Yes, sir. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you know, you know people in St. Louis might not like it, but people in St. Lucia might love it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you go where it is. Yeah, well, you jumped on that talk box, man. Now, what made you go that direction back in the day? Just doing something different. Yeah. Running out of options. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, just trying, just trying to do something different. So, is it like a part of reinventing yourself when people say you got to keep reinventing yourself? You always got to reinvent yourself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because everything you do, somebody's going to come, on, come on along right behind you and do it 10 times better. So, is it hard for a musician, especially of your caliber, to, to keep reinventing yourself? Not at all. Oh, yeah? 
da da da. Everything, everything you need to reinvent yourself is out is right. Especially now, nowadays, everything you need to do in the palm of your hand. Yeah. You know, just keep listening. Keep always be a student of the craft. Yeah. So what's up next with you, Big John? Gonna do another trio record with uh with uh, Matt Ramsey and Mike Mitchell. Uh -huh. Um, and then another Seven Summers type record. Yeah. Not long after that, touring. Go back out with the pups. Oh yeah. Um, just working on music, man. That's about it. Well, tell folks where they can find you at. Man, you can find me at www.shawnmartinmusic.com. Um, S H A U N M A R C I N Music M A S I C dot com. Or you can find me on Instagram at Sean One S H U N W U N Twitter at S H U N W U N um, Facebook. Or you can just call my cell phone. Seven 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 ninety three. All right, y'all. That's my dude, Sean. Man, once again, I want to give him a shout out, y'all, for always looking out for me, no matter what. We hanging out uh, at Friendly Temple, Kirk Franklin Live in concert tonight. Hanging out in the uh, catering thing. You can see what's going on. Some tacos. Yeah, it's John <laughs> tacos. So we're gonna let Sean bounce, y'all. This your boy Jay Ross. We ten million strong, and we gone. Peace. We ten million strong, we gone. Yeah.